I wear a few different hats. Yeah. I'm uh, one of the clinical directors here at Body Logic Physiotherapy, um, where I'm involved in um, reviewing specialist, uh, like complex cases, um, with particularly uh, persistent pain disorders, uh, where we look at uh, trying to unravel the complexity of pain and develop strategies for management for those kinds of problems. Uh, I'm also a professor of uh, musculoskeletal physiotherapy at um, Curtin University, where I hold a part-time position. Uh, and there I'm involved in research into both the development and management of persistent pain disorders. I think one of the most common misconceptions about musculoskeletal pain is it's all a physical phenomena uh, and that you know there's something wrong with your structure. Uh, but we know that um, uh, pain disorders are a, an emotional, have an emotional experience. We know that your mood and your levels of stress, uh, your levels of anxiety can have a direct impact on your levels of pain. Uh, and uh, physical factors may be important, but these other factors may also be important. Lifestyle factors we also know are terribly important with pain. Uh, our sedentary lifestyle can have a huge impact on, on our bodies in terms of weakening our spinal structures, as well as influencing our levels of tissue sensitivity. Developing a model of understanding of pain that incorporates not just the structural, but also the functional aspects of the human body and the interlink between the psychological and the social factors with the uh, interplay of the nervous system uh, is critical to understanding pain and its complexity. Well, at Body Logic Physiotherapy, we've worked very hard to um, acquire the best, most highly skilled um, uh, practitioners that we can access. Uh, skilled in terms of communication skills, but also um, their academic skills as well. One of the key aspects of what we offer is the first appointment, which is a, an hour appointment, where we spend the time to hear your story, um, to identify the factors that are linked to your problem and to develop a management plan. We don't treat a patient as a, as a rubber stamp, but we look at each person and look at their set of factors that underlie the problem and set up a plan that is unique and targeted and tailored for them. For some, we set up individual programs that they can conduct at home. Uh, for others, they need more special, specialised care. So they will go into our rehab programs, which may be one-on-one -on -one based, but then progressing towards more small group programs. We tend not to run group classes where everyone does the same thing because we recognise that each human being is individual uh, and they all have their own goals and own factors that they, they need to work towards. You can't separate uh, the research from the practice, you can't separate the practice from the research. And one, in, uh, one feeds the other and that's probably been one of our greatest strengths. We see uh, people like children, dancers, uh, athletes, musicians, uh, mums, dads, workers, uh, work injuries, the elderly couple. We're not limited in who we see. We see people with pain. The story of the patient really is the most powerful way of, um, of giving people a sense of understanding of the way in which we operate uh, and we work because it comes from them.